All right, this should be interesting. So Lecrae said that he's been to a couple Diddy parties. And obviously, we know what's going on with Diddy. And we know what's been going on with some other, you know, influential Christians who have been involved at these Diddy parties. Not going to name no names, but, you know, power bottoms. All That's all I'm going to say. So my mind instantly makes assumptions. And I'm thinking, I'm that's, that's where I'm... That's what I'm thinking about when I hear Diddy Party automatically. It's just a word association. So I want to know what happened. So let's hear it from the mouth of Lecrae. What happened at these Diddy parties? I feel like this is going to be a crazy one. Let's get into it. I, I wasn't even going to say nothing about this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. <clears throat> um, I've been to a couple Diddy parties. Now, I'm risking a lot by saying this because I know as soon as I say that, all, all the assumptions are going to come in and all the, and if I don't say evil things were taking place, then I'm covering for them. And if I do say evil things were taking place, then I'm one of them ones like, yeah, Lecrae, expose it, expose it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to lots of parties. I've been to Jamie Foxx. I've been with Snoop, T.I. Like, I've been to lots of places. Um here's what I'll say. There are people who will test you. Mm. There are people who will see how far your limits are. And if you're willing to take a step, then they'll take two. I, I, in my personal experience, never saw anything where someone was like, you can't move any further unless you do X, Y, or Z. But what I did see was, if you do do X, Y, or Z, well, keep coming because you're, you know, and that's how we all are. It's Psalm 1, right? Um, it says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, who does not stand in the way of sinners, who does not sit in the seat of mockers. You, you start walking, they're going to walk with you, and now you find yourself standing. They like, oh, you stand? Well, if you stand, come sit. Now, the next thing you know, you're sitting. And, and so it was never a situation where I, I felt forced to sit. It was a situation where I was asked, do, do you stand? Do you stand? And I'm like, I don't stand. Oh, okay, cool. And then I was left alone. Do you stand? Nah, bro. I ain't a fruitcake. What I, that, I I done told you already. Like, what 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 about me makes you think that I'm into that? Like, it's crazy. Why is it always gotta be like sexual stuff? How come that's always gotta be like the barrier of entry when it comes to these like Hollywood situations? Is it just that many perverted people who are running things in Hollywood that it's always gonna gotta be this sexual stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. He's not, he's not about that life. He's not with it. I'm leaving him alone. Um, and, and this is what I'll say. And I won't say whose party I was at or what party, but this is a crazy situation, right? Um, nah, 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 nah. Say, 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 say whose party it was. We need, we need to know. Well, you started off, you started off, you started off saying it, you went to a couple of Diddy parties. And then you said Jamie Foxx, and then you said Snoop. I'm not. I'm not even. It, it doesn't even matter at this point. It doesn't matter. Just tell the story. It doesn't matter. I was at one of these parties, and for me, I'll be honest. It was a mix of work because this is oftentimes where you go to connect with people, where you go to meet people. And I have met people here, and I have built bonds, and they have said I have met actors and celebrities who said, man, thank you for being here. I needed your presence here. You're the reason why I know God is walking with me. And we've had conversations since where they're like, man, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Because how are you going to be a light if you're never in the dark? Now, I'm, now, if you cannot handle being in the dark, stay up out of certain places, right? Don't play tug of war by yourself. I never went to these events by myself. I was always with people who were walking in the light and we always had a mission. It was never just to go in there and wild out and, and, be, and be stupid. But the other side of the coin is, yes, 
if I'm I'm a human, so I'm frail. I'm gonna be honest with you. There was moments for me of like, oh my gosh, I'm here. I'm part of the crew. Like, look at me. Yes, I struggle with acceptance and wanting to be associated with greatness. And I got caught up in some of that nonsense internally, right? Um, but you would have never known that. What I will say is that one particular party, um, lots of big names, um, there was an artist there who said, hey, Lecrae, around 1 a.m., make sure you're not here. Mm. And I was like, what? You just don't want to be here at one in the morning. And I was like, now my pride kicked in like, yo, you don't know me. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can handle myself. Like, I'm not some little church boy who ain't never seen nothing. Like, I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you talking about? Well, it's probably 12, 30. I'm downstairs. Um... I go downstairs to the studio, I come up out the studio, and I'm headed back upstairs to like the main area where everyone's kind of congregating and hanging out, and uh, the music changed. It was like really hard and heavy at first, and then, you know, like jamming, dancing music, and it was a little softer, you know? It was a little more sensual when I came out the studio and started going upstairs, and on my way upstairs, there's like this couch, um, I won't say how the couch is designed because then that may give away whose party and whose house this was. There was a couch and on the couch, I saw a couple of guys really going at it hard and heavy. And um, man, and I was like, oh, you know, I, you know, my brain, I'm thinking, well, you know, the celebrity party, people do what they do. As I started moving up stairs, I passed them up and I noticed that. Wait, well, hold on. Wait, it ain't, it ain't, no, it ain't people, it ain't, it ain't no, they do what they do at a celebrity party. And this is a crazy, th this, here's the crazy part. This is at 1230. They going hard and heavy at 1230. Imagine what happened at 1 a.m. That's, that's, you, look, I don't care where my car keys are. I don't care where my jacket is. I don't even care where my shoes are, bro. Well, I'm probably not going to take my shoes off. But I don't care where my keys, my jacket, nothing. I don't. If my friends ain't with me in that moment, I, I guess y'all staying here. Then I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I, w I will shiver outside and call an Uber. I ain't finna sit and and and, and associate with y'all going hard and heavy. That's crazy. And also, also, you know what's so interesting about people. You're comfortable having intimate relations in public in front of people who you don't even know. But that doesn't make it any better anyway. But you're 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 comfortable doing this in public. Just imagine what they're doing in private. Just imagine how wicked and perverted they're acting in private. If you're just out here just fornicating in public, like it's a show or something. And I came out the studio, started going upstairs, and on my way upstairs, there's like this couch. Um, I won't say how the couch is designed, because then that may give away whose party and whose house this was. There was a couch, and on the couch, I saw a couple of guys really going at it, hard and heavy. And um, man, and I was like, oh, you know, I, you know, my brain, I'm thinking, well, you know, the celebrity party, people do what they do. As I started moving up stairs, I passed them up, and I noticed that it wasn't just those two guys, it was more and more people just going at it. I was like, okay. It's time for me to roll. I'm going to grab my stuff and I'm going to get up out of here. I did not know that's how this went down. So was that shocking? Absolutely. Was I forced or coerced into anything? I was not. Um, but I, why they felt that comfortable? I don't know. Maybe the invite list, they was like, yeah, all these people. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm shocked 
that it went down. But I've been to another situation, another person's party, celebrity party, and you know, a celebrity tapped me on my shoulder and I was hanging out with them. And it was like, yo, nephew, uh, you might want to go into the other party because this cabana, we about to close it up. And they closed up the cabana and there was a, about three or four big name artists in there. And a whole bunch of ladies start walking in that cabana and a security guard stood in front of the door. Hey, they didn't coerce me. They didn't ask. That had to miss Snoop Dogg. Who else going to walk up to you and say, hey, nephew, that had to miss Snoop. Bro, here's the, I can't, listen, listen, listen. How come it's always got to be like sexual stuff when it comes to Hollywood? We, we always hear about, oh, so-and-so had to do this, you know, thing with so-and-so, this top producer or this top executive in order to get this movie role or so-and-so you know, had to do this in order to get this, you know, uh, this feature on, on, you know, so-and-so's album or whatever like that. It's always got to be like sexual stuff is the barrier of entry. How come it's always got to be that when it comes to Hollywood and when it comes to the entertainment industry? Do you see how driven we are by lust and how our lustful desires are so evil and are so wicked and literally make us slaves to our sin. It's so dangerous when you're going down that path of lust and when you're allowing your body, your flesh to lead you, it's never gonna end in a good place. And you see like no matter how much money you have, no matter how much power you have, Whatever the case may be, lust can take over and lust can control you and lust can literally ruin your entire life and the lives of so many people all around you. But if I was walking up them steps at 1230, just like he said, and if I would have seen them dudes doing what they was doing, I might have been liable to fall down the stairs. Like I... That should almost be a felony. Y'all out here doing what you doing in public with so many people around as if I want to see that. You know what I'm saying? And now I got to go and I got to pray and I got to repent because of the things that I saw that you put me in a situation to see in the first place. What I didn't even want to see in the first place. I, I understand. I understand wanting to be a light in the darkness. And look what Jesus did. Jesus hung out with sinners. Jesus even died for sinners. Let's not forget that. But Jesus was God. Is God. Jesus was not going to be swayed or tempted to fall for the temptations of this silly little world. That was never going to happen. He was never going to conform. He was never going to compromise himself or his truth for this world. We, on the other hand, are much more frail. We're much more vulnerable. Even as spiritually mature as we might think that we are, given the right or wrong situation, depending on how you want to look at it, Anything could happen. So if we're talking about like going to Hollywood parties and stuff like that, I understand 
this feeling of wanting to make it and wanting to be successful and feeling like you have to make connections in order to make that happen. And you, I, I can't fault Lecrae for that because to, to a certain extent, you don't really know what you don't know to a certain extent. Like people could tell you all day long, like these Hollywood parties are wicked, they're demonic, they're, they're this, that, and the third. But most of us are just outsiders looking in and we don't really know what's happening. So for him, he probably thought that he could go up in there with his friends and that they could, you know, be the light and they could point people towards Jesus. And maybe they did. And it sounds like they did. It sounds like they had some relationships that were successful that, you know, pointed people towards Christ. But for a lot of people, myself included, those situations are not constructive situations to put ourselves in. And those situations might end up grieving the Holy Spirit inside of us more times than not. So I think you have to use extreme discernment when you're in those situations and when you have those opportunities. Because also you don't know the spirits behind the individuals at the party and what their intention are and what they're trying to do to you. Because the devil would like nothing more than to get you to fall. The devil would like nothing more than to get a Christian to fall publicly. So that the world could laugh, mock you, and belittle your faith. And belittle God. So, I personally wouldn't put myself in that situation. I just don't really see a benefit. But, I mean, I'm speaking that for myself today, right now. If you would have caught me... I don't know, maybe five years ago, way earlier on in my walk with Jesus, I probably would have felt like I could have been in those situations because I, I, I could have felt like I could have made an impact and I could have made a change and stuff like that. And I probably would have went to one of these parties and I probably would have, you know, stumbled and fell. Not into any power bottom stuff, but I'm just saying I probably would have, you know, took that sip or took that hit or, you know, whatever, whatever it was. But me today, like, I just, I don't see a benefit to be in those situations. Me personally. I don't see a benefit. I think God can open any door on this earth. And I don't need to uh, go out of my way to make a relationship that could potentially be detrimental to my relationship with God in order to open up a door on this earth when I already have a relationship with the one who has all the keys to every door. That's just what I'm thinking. But I appreciate Lecrae, him being honest. I do appreciate that. I appreciate that he's making these videos on YouTube. Um, because otherwise, I, I mean, we could speculate, but we don't actually really know what level of wickedness is going on in these parties and according to what he explained is is is, is wicked is wicked but let me know what y'all think get in my comments like this video i'm out y'all